Will the financial crisis put at risk the large gains that Africa has made in recent years in the fight against poverty? Yes, that's a real big problem. Uh, most African countries have made a lot of efforts during the last decade with results. And those results today are really uh, at risk. Um, take an example like uh, Zambia. Zambia has a really uh, make a very important effort uh, rebuilding its uh, uh, fiscal sustainability uh, with some room for manoeuvre, uh, fighting against poverty, even if poverty, of course, is still very high in a country like Zambia. Uh, what has happened? The crisis has very hard hit this economy, especially because of the, uh, the price and the exports of copper. So uh, today, the situation is a very difficult one. Some of the uh, one mine, you know, one copper mine has closed, some other had laid off, and uh, the, the, situa the economic situation of Zambia is, I won't say, very, very difficult uh, if, when compared to last year, but more difficult. Growth was uh, 5.8, if I'm right, and we expect 4.4 4, 4, uh, percentage point of growth this year, which is uh, rather important decrease. And what is true for Zambia is true for other countries. Moreover, uh, not only uh, the global demand has uh, decreased, which makes a problem, but also remittances have decreased, uh, international capital flows have dried up, and on top of that, uh, donor aid may be even less uh, uh, important than, than in the past. So when you take all together, the results of the last decade are, are really at risk, and it's our business here in the IMF, not only us, with the help of the World Bank or the Regional Development Bank, but it's really our business to try to help those countries to mitigate the effect of the, of the crisis. It has been said uh, one year ago that uh, because uh, those uh, African countries were not so much linked to the financial uh, system in the West, uh, the effect of the crisis will not be so important. It certainly was wrong. With some delay, they're now really hit by the crisis. and. Uh, uh, it will be so dramatic and it's really a pity if uh, the efforts made during the last 10 years will just uh, disappear as the snow in the sun just because of the crisis. So we have more than in, than in the past the duty to try to help these African countries. How will the Tanzania conference help? Well, it's part of it. A conference is only a conference, but a conference can do a lot. Um, it's certainly useful to uh, have at the same place, uh, it will be in Dar es Salaam in March 10 and 11 uh, this year, uh, a meeting with uh, almost 300 uh, policymakers from all around Africa, even some, some coming from outside, discussing what has been done in the past, what are the lessons from the past, but even more, what, are, what we can do in, in the future. And we will convene pro uh, President Kikwete of Tanzania and myself, uh, we'll convene not only policymakers, but also people coming from uh, the private sector, from NGOs, civil uh, society organizations, this kind of thing, to discuss all together how we can now organize, facing the crisis, but looking forward, uh, how we can organize the, uh, our work to help growth in, in, in Africa. And I think the result of this conference may be very useful, both for African countries, but also for us to take stock of what has been, has been done uh, until now.